Hi, my name is Karen Marie and I'm from Design School Coding in Denmark. I'm here to present to you the OER called Contextualizing Sustainable Textile Product Design Using Sustainable Design Cards and Material Pathways. This resource considers ways to actively engage with sustainability in the context of design using the card decks, sustainable design cards and material pathways. While the specific content of the cards will be described in the section Sustainable Design Cards and Material Pathways, the outset of the development of re the resources was a need to strengthen discussion on what sustainability is or can be and how sustainability can be approached. This points towards creating awareness for and among multifarious actors in academia, industry and in politics, to whom this is core, and offering a joint framework for discussing issues of the impact but also potentials of design in relation to this. In the context of Destex, here this will be in the framing of textile product design. The purpose of the following OER is to introduce a learning tool developed to inform on and activate approaches to sustainable design. In the OER, participants use the sustainable design cards and material pathways to unfold potentials and challenges in existing business models. The output, in addition to knowledge on a concrete tool, is building awareness, reflection and critical faculty on the topic. The OER aims to develop students' ability to navigate in the intersection fields of design and sustainability based on looking into one or more existing businesses. This aims to prepare students' ability to use sustainability as a guideline and framing when working on projects and developing their own design and sustainability concepts. Based on the above goals, with the OER, students are expected to obtain knowledge on notions and concepts used within sustainable textile product design, including product life cycles and product lifetimes, obtain knowledge on concrete approaches to sustainable textile product design using sustainable design cards and material pathways, to be able to identify a company's approaches to sustainable textile product design, and to be able to map approaches in a product life cycle, and finally to be able to reflect on, discuss and critique a company's efforts within sustainable textile product design, and to be able to propose alternative approaches to a company's business strategy. Considering the impact of a product by means of sustainability is increasingly becoming a fundamental aspect when arguing for or against developing new products, but also when allowing already existing products on the market. The following will provide a condensation of ways to understand sustainability in design and an introduction to the contents and the structure of the sustainable design cards and material pathways. When we, in design practice and education, discuss and work with design and sustainability, it is important to take a step back and consider what we lean on. The design and sustainability field can therefore be understood as the field created when sustainability and design meet, overlap and interact. This means when design practice has to adjust to the surrounding societal, economic or political agenda and is what is called sustainable design, design that becomes more sustainable. However, it also and more importantly means when design tools, methods and ways of thinking can be used to understand, create structures with and of sustainability and operationalize the multiplicity of directions taken in the sustainability discourse. Even though it is more than 30 years old, the Outcome and Future Report commissioned by the United Nations is still used to describe the core of sustainable development as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Nevertheless, combining sustainability, the ability to sustaining, in this case, the ecosystem we are all part of, the Earth, and development have from the beginning been critiqued. Is it possible to have economic growth while still caring for and respecting the limitations of the ecosystem? The definition of sustainable, sustainable development has also been critiqued for being vague and ill-defined, and questions such as what are the needs, who decides which needs are more important, and how are needs and solutions on these measured can be asked. In 2015, the United Nations launched the Sustainable Development Goals as a way to criticize and operationalize sustainable development. Since the goals were introduced, they have gained momentum, especially in corporate, organizational and political spheres, as a way to enhance, frame and highlight collaboration across scale and field. Nevertheless, the SDGs that include 17 goals and 231 sub-goals or unique indicators have also been criticized for potentially embracing everything and not taking into account how the individual goals and sub-goals influence and interact with each other. If we take a step further back and consider why sustainability is fundamental to consider, 
Multiple interrelated issues related to resource overuse can be identified, such as climate change and loss of diversity. These can be further expanded into nine planetary boundaries proposed by Stockholm Resilience Center. To acknowledge the human impact on and interference with the planetary boundaries, a donut model has been introduced as a way to balance these in an environmental ceiling with a social foundation containing 10 social boundaries into what has been called a safe and just space for humanity with inclusive and sustainable economic development. This model, among others, can be used to describe how sustainable product design is much more than considering environmental issues, that there has long been a tension between te technology development and human involvement. Here the, later, uh, here the latter may be more complex to understand and thus implement or influence, but it also overall holds a stronger potential when it comes to sustainability. In design, especially two perspectives are used to illustrate a product's sustainable impact. Product circularity, to circulate resources in theory ind indefinitely, which allows for unchanged consumption and use of resources. And product longevity, to prolong the use of products as long and efficient as possible, through understanding the dynamics and variations of product lifetimes. Even though there is a tendency that the two are seen as conflicting, if acknowledging that multiple approaches and positions can be taken into account simultaneously, for example in different phases of a product life cycle, the presented learning tool builds on a common frame combining the two. This is also something that has been framed as multiple loops approaches. Product circularity, here on all resources that have informed the product, uh, challenges the linear production system, that's, that has been dominant since the Industrial Revolution and is from transforming a cradle-to-grave approach to a cradle-to-cradle approach. This means that instead of disposing products and regarding this as waste, these should be recovered through sharing and maintenance, reuse and redistribution, refurbishing and remanufacturing of components and recycling of materials as exemplified with the butterfly diagram. Product lifetimes can be described as the extent of efficient or sufficient use in a product through a product's uh, physical life, the time in which the product breaks down beyond economic repair, functional life, the time when the need for it ceases to exist, technical life, the time at which advances in technology have made the product unaccept unacceptably obsolete, economical life, the time at which Advances in design and technology offer the same functionality as significantly lower operating cost, legal life, the time at which new standards, directives, legislation or restrictions make the use of the product illegal, and desirability life, the time at which changes in taste, fashion or aesthetic preference re render the product unattractive. Sustainable Design Cards is a navigation tool developed in 2017 to inspire designers to work strategically with approaches to sustainability in design. The tool is based on a physical deck of 28 cards in a A6 format that each describe a, and position an approach to sustainability in product-related design. The description of the cards here is based on the two references called Sustainable Design Cards and Sustainability Cards Designed for Longevity. In 2020, the card deck was extended with material pathways that specifically looks into positions to take when considering material roles in sustainability and design. The two decks have similar format and structure of content, so consequently, and dependent on the wish for a focus and complexity, the two cards can be used separately or together. Examples of cards in the sustainable design card deck are multifunctionality, environmentally friendly materials, informal sharing and heritage, and embedded storytelling. Examples of cards in the material pathway stack are material crafting, material geography, living materials, and material corality. On the graphic side of each card, there is a visual focus compass showing how the card relates to technical, functional, or emotional lifetime aspects. These can be described as technical aspects that refer to the length of time a product stays in use before it or its components break or wear out, functional aspects that relate to the length of time a product stays in use before its functionality no longer meets the user's expectations or needs, and emotional aspects that refer to the length of time a product stays in use before the user stops having any emotional attachment to it. On the graphic side, 
Each card is also linked to four to two to four phases in a product life cycle, here with the following phases being used. Material that relates to aspects concerning extraction, growing or refining materials. Product that relates to aspects concerning production and manufacturing. Transport and retail that relate to logistics and handling aspects. User and practice that relates to aspects in use and of the user. Disposal and recovery that relate to the recovery, reuse and recycling of a product in post-use. And design and concept that relate to aspects that could be influenced in the design process. In addition to the focus compass and product lifecycle, the cards have an informa informative fact site that describes what the approach is about, why it is relevant in a sustainability context, challenges involved with working with and integrating the approach in a product design context, examples of cases where the approach has been activated, other cards in the deck to which the approach can be linked and related to, and further reading if wanting to read more in depth with the topic. In the uh, activity, we uh, ask how to uh, identify approaches to sustainability in design. Uh, the activity serves to explore and identify approaches to sustainability in design using sustainable design cards and material pathways as a methodical framing for looking into companies' business models, using the overall questions, which approaches does a company work with, which approaches are or should be core to the company's business, which approaches should be further developed to support the company's business. Uh, to perform the activity, you need access to the sustainable design cards and material pathways that could be in print, as printed decks, as PDFs or on the web page, um, as well as printed uh, product lifecycle templates, which you will find uh, in the end of this presentation. Um, we propose that you have uh, one to two hours and that you uh, have uh, smaller groups of students with uh, two to three students in each. In the first part of the activity, uh, we ask how does your own clothing relate to any sustainable approach from the sustainable design cards? Use 20 to 30 minutes to get to know the cards by discussing these individually or together in groups. Choose a textile product in your proximity. This can be a garment, furniture or other. The activity is easier if you know the company behind. Go through the deck and identify relevant approaches. You can do this based on physical examination of the textile product, prior knowledge on the company and desktop research. Which approaches maximum three are the most important? Which ones are secondary? Where in the product life cycle are the approaches positioned? In the second part of the activity, we ask how do companies within textile product design work with sustainability through design? Here use 60 minutes to identify and des describe approaches for a chosen company. Identify a company that makes textile products. This can be a company known for working with sustainability or a company that is not. Go through the deck and identify relevant approaches for the company. Which approaches, maximum three, are the most important? Which ones are secondary? Where in the product life cycle are the approaches positioned? If the company was to further develop the sustainability endeavors, identify relevant approaches and elaborate why these are relevant and how they could be implemented. Prepare a short presentation, approximately five minutes of the company and their sustainability based on the above questions. This is the template to use in the activity. Thank you.